gangster, gangster, let's get to it. This the gangland, we run right through it. Meet the say low, we so disrespectful. It's gang tunes, and no, I can't hang with you. Gang is blue, 100 K, I'm keeping it true. Ducking them shells, bust back, I'm rich in the air. A south shoot your nigga, giving them hell. Sending them through, I'm off the west side, fucking your boo. I'm hopping out in old fashion, giving no passes. Out the set, can't tolerate the disrespect. Shatter the door, gang back together with chalk. Skipping wall, the pistol with talk. I just is for my dead one, I'm still hearing them talk. I get them niggas true, but we gotta peel them apart. Promoting with hoes, hit the old stand, the gang is gold. Play it as hard as you thought, motherfucker, that the gang was for the Oh, man, we passed some shit with it today, man. We're going to show you um, our side of the hunters today, you know, as we call it the gunnets, you know, or the foundation where we grew up at. I'm going to take you to Woodcrest right quick, the elementary school where it all started at. You know what I'm saying? You know, we called it up top, you know. Just, just the island right here, we call this the island, man. We on Vermont right now. You know what I'm saying? So this is where I grew up at right here, between uh, Normandy and uh, Figueroa. This is stomping grounds, you know, all the way to Imperial. This is where I grew up at right here, you know what I'm saying? This land, the set as we call it, you know. So you must have walked these streets many a times as a kid. Oh yeah, many times, man. Since I was a kid. I went to uh, Figueroa Elementary, Woodcrest Elementary, Manchester Elementary. Yeah, I, many, many times. The funeral passing through here. Yes, yeah, a funeral passed through this motherfucker uh, at least four times a week. It wouldn't be right if it wasn't, huh? Yeah, it's that Vermont corridor. Motherfuckers. They got just as many people they had dying, they got being born. Yeah, I'm just working right here, though. So you'd walk here? Mm -hmm. No, I, actually, I just hopped the gate, man. I hopped the gate and go right straight to my house. Because on the other side of school is my house, right there on 107 in, in Balan. This, uh, this is my elementary school right here, man. This is where everything started at right here, man. This is probably the harder set in the elementary school. This is where you meet all your sandbox friends at. All the, you know, niggas that turned on you later on in the years. Not so much team, you met them here. All right, everybody went here, man. Everybody I know of that somebody in the set went to Woodcrest. Real shit. So you was like less than five minutes from school? Yeah, yeah not even five minutes, yeah. Not yeah. even five minutes? Yeah, not even five minutes. Okay, so that was the most, probably easiest walk that a, a, a school kid could have. Yeah. Same thing with high school, though, for Washington right there. If you look a little down, you see Washington High School. Is that Washington? Yeah, that's Washington. Yeah, it's Washington. Yeah. I didn't realize it was that close. Yeah, it's right there, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. But um, but that's a, another hood, though, right? Washington, uh, yeah. I guess you could say that. I'm borderline? Call it borderline, yeah, 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 yeah. Because when I, when I went to Washington, it was cool. You know, we went there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I had, you know, I went there for two years. I ain't gonna even lie. Nice, 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 best, probably the best two years of my life. So tell me a little bit about when you were here. When you, I'm sure you weren't thinking about rap back back in the day. When you were Actually, still... I was. I was rapping here, Is man. Is that right? I wrote my first rap right here, man, in Woodcrest. Real shit, man. See, shit. We had it. Uh, it was uh, English, English, English uh, homework assignment, man. And then we did one for science. So I uh, took all the planets and named all the planets in one rap, bro. Is that right? You yeah. You remember it? Uh, no, I don't remember the rap, bro. <laughs> Too much weed, man. I smoked so much weed. I forget, I forget more than I remember. A typical day for you at school when you was in the fourth, fifth grade. After you leave, you just walk back home, or what would you do? Nah, we gonna stay out of school and uh, play. I'm gonna play cameras. I want no sports, dude. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't dunk the ball or throw the football. No, no shit, the shit like that. And I ain't never was really. I tried to play football. I played football just once, matter of fact, for a few years, bro. That's Pop Warner. That's about it. But I, I would never really sports. Never grasped my brain. Never, you know, pulled me to sports, bro. I'm more, I'm more so like the books and arts and stuff like that. So I played cameras, man, and uh, uh, what else? Uh, they play race and uh, you should shoot marbles. Marbles was the shit when I was here in Woodcrest. Marbles. Whoever had the best marbles, not the little cheap ones you get off the ice cream truck with the little eyeball in them, but you know, marbles was the shit. And um, Karams is must, must is really like that's L.A. right there. Oh yeah. Karams and elementary school. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. I don't know if they do that in other cities. Nah, they ain't got cameras. They don't know what cameras is. <laughs> yeah, it's like playing checkers with a stick. <laughs> Not really, though, because there ain't no strategy. You just got to knock all your colors in. I kind of thought it was like shooting pool with a stick. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Oh, man. Now, nah, this, this, this is some of the best years of my life in Woodcrest, man. It's, it's crazy. It's changed, though. You know what I'm saying? Because when I was going to Woodcrest, man, they had um, what you call ESL, which was a, a class for the Hispanics. And you probably had like 
probably like 10, 15 Hispanics at the most in the class. So now I think it's the opposite. They got like ESL for the blacks. I'm serious, bro. You can walk, I'm serious. Say it's like 300 students, probably like 100 of them, probably 50 of them black. So it shouldn't change a lot, man. Real talk, it didn't change a lot. So Real not too many South Lows went to this elementary school when you was here? Yeah, I went here with some South Lows. Yeah, I went here with South Lows. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so. Uh, yeah. You know, that was, yeah, that was the first uh, That was the first threat that we know as kids was South Lows. Like, you got to watch the Mexicans. I'm serious. That first shit that, that like, like ever kicked off was with Mexicans. Yeah, we've been fighting the war with Mexicans for a long time. A lot of people don't know that. We probably the first black gang fight war with Mexicans. Go down there, Park Jack, for the New Jacks. That, this history right here. It's called the New Jacks. Real shit. What's the New Jacks mean? Right, these apartments. Little homie got killed at. Yeah, that's what they killed. That's where the sheriffs killed the uh, Anthony Weber at right here. You know, an unarmed 16 year old boy gunned him down. Uh, we on 107th Street right here. This is set right here. This is the gang street. This is the everything to us. You know, this is our God. This is our Jesus. This is our everything right here. This would be like what the Vatican is to the Catholics, to us. And you mentioned these buildings when we first pulled up. What is it? What are these? Oh, these new jacks right here, 1212. West 107th Street, set apartments right here. It's the same place that the sheriff killed the little kid, Anthony Welber, at the unarmed 16 year old that was coming to get his coat out of these apartments right here, man. Anger continues to grow in South LA over the shooting death of a 16 year old boy. Anthony Weber was shot to death Sunday night in the courtyard of an apartment complex on 107th near Budlong. Sheriff's deputies were responding to a call of a young man with a gun who had allegedly pointed it at a passing driver. Sheriff's officials say the deputies saw someone fitting the description, saw a gun in his waistband, then chased when he ran, then turned toward them. At some point, either during the foot pursuit or immediately after, uh, the suspect was able to uh, hand the gun off or throw the gun, and subsequently someone picked that up. The department said at least one deputy saw Weber with a gun, but acknowledged none was found there that February night in the apartment courtyard of 107th Street. But a detective sergeant's search warrant affidavit that NBC4 today found filed in court discloses that in March, investigators recovered the gun they believe Weber had and the responding deputy described. A Smith & Wesson m &P with a threaded silver barrel and a red dot holographic sight. And the affidavit says that was gun and was that gun was found in an adjacent building in an apartment used by gang members, the gang in which the affidavit asserts Weber was involved. When did that happen? This happened on Super Bowl, same Super Bowl day. Yeah. We was uh we was watching the game down here, a couple of apartments down, and uh he was betting for the Patriots. And he, you know, they had lost that year. So he was mad, came here. I'm like, yeah, you lost, you know what I'm saying? So he came here, his girl was coming to get him, so he had to run in here to get his coat out the apartment upstairs, which was the police was already in there. So when he ran in there, as soon as he went in there, you hear the gunshot, boom, 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 boom. He about, about, about 16, about, so about, usually about 24 gunshots, man. So um, we run down there, you know, thinking like somebody did a drive by where we're not run up in apartments, and the police right there got pointed the guns at us, and I think they, they had a bullets though, you know what I'm saying? And he was right there, you know, dying on the ground. So he took his body, handcuffed him, you know, moved his body from one side, drug him to another side, and yeah, disrespected the man totally, man. The kid, child, 16 years old. Man. And you actually used to live right on this block. Nah, man, yeah, I grew up right here, man, on this block all my life. Okay. Real talk. Uh, my everything right here, man, real shit. This is my everything right here. It's the family house right here, man. Been over here for years, man. Over, man, long time, man, so everything right here. I grew up a kid right here, right here. Went to elementary from right here, junior high, high school, the whole nine. Went to jail from on this street. Got shot around here, I've been shot six times. Got shot right here behind us, right here in these apartments. First time I got shot, I got shot right here behind us where you're standing at. And I got shot uh, around the corner, put in a comb, got shot in the head and the chest right here around the corner. I got shot again, yeah, I've been shot six times, four different times. Bro. And which is the, the worst injuries you sustained out of all these shootings? Uh, probably the one in the back of the head right here. So when you don't get cold, a little arthritis set in, getting in, so I'm really like fucked up. But outside of that, you know, made me where I am today. Where'd that happen at? I'm right here on Butler. Yep. July, you... July 7, 2001, man. Do you feel like you suffer trauma still from, you know, all these shootings, nightmares and things of that sort? Yeah, hell yeah, but it's like duality, man. You got to, you got to good with the bad, man. Yeah, I, I, I go through all that, but on a, a flip side of the corner, I'm on. I'm like, you know, tuned in. I know what it is now, you know what I'm saying? So I, like, I hear like a gun click uh, a couple streets away, so I'm saying? It's like a uh, 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 gangster most senses. 
So what happened to you when you got shot on Budlong? What was the um, what type of injuries did you have to go through? Oh man, I went through a lot. Man, I was in a coma. Uh, two, two surgeries. Hell yeah, I went through a motherfucking lot. I was shot in the head and the chest, bro. Hell yeah, I had to learn how to walk again, breathing machine, the whole nine. They tell my folks I was gonna die. I woke up and had some. I didn't know what the fuck it was with my down my throat. Pulled it out and I'm like that first little breath felt like I ain't lying. Real shit, but I was weak, man. Real shit, but it was a blessing. I ain't gonna lie. I'm glad I went through it. Real shit, because like I said, I'm on now. I know I know what it is. What it is, you know what I'm saying? I ain't scared to die. No none of that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't waiting on no Jesus, no none of that. I'm keeping it hundred with you. This is why I'm actually being my wife at right here, man. Real talk. Uh, about 2001, right here. And uh, I was gunned down right here. I got shot four times right here. I got shot in the chest and I got shot in the head right here. I got shot in the arm and I got shot in, uh, where else? I've been shot so many times and forgot. But I've been shot six times though. But this is the worst yeah. shooting yeah. you ever sustained. Yeah, real talk right here, man. It was all, it was brutal, it was bad, you know what I'm saying? It's fair to say you almost died. Yeah, I was in a coma, yeah. I was on life support the whole night, yeah. And you met your wife before or after that shooting? Uh, before, before the shooting, yeah. At that time, how many times had you had you, had you been shot before? Uh, once. Okay. Yeah, one time before that. The first time I got shot, I was like, damn, I got shot. So I was like that, you know what I'm saying? You know, I was a goofy person. That's you know, what they called me goofy. So I would really like, you know, like, you know, I know some cats have been shot at. it just like, just super, super paranoid. And I never, I never was that person. Nah, that wasn't me. Yeah, real shit. But I got shot right here, though. You know what I'm saying? I think it like changed my person, person. You know, I, I had a you know, blood transfer the whole night. I think it made me more of a, uh, you know, a vindictive person. So uh, take me back to that day. Um, were you just standing out here with the homies? Were you by yourself? No, matter of fact, was uh, I like boxing, right? So uh, we had a dude that moved in the uh, apartments, man, right here, 12th floor, West Hudson Street, the New Jack, we call New Jacks. And uh, he was out the Navy. He was about uh, six two or six something, whatever. But he said he was boxing in the Navy, whatever night, right? So, uh, so I've been on all my life, and it was like a lot of boys, a lot of them. It was probably like 18 of us that were just cousins, right? You know, it was just cousins, right? So we were right here, and they're like, dude, box, like, so we want to go. I'm like, we're going to see what his hands like. You know what I'm saying? Go over there and see what his hands like. You know, he was Navy trained boxer. So we go over there. So uh, we got kick his ass in the gloves, make a long story short. So I seen these um, Pisces, man. I call them Pisces, you know, the, the Spanish that they're on English. We call them Pisces, right? So they was over there, right? And they had a fucking big thing of uh, E and J foods, like uh, the yeah. biggest fucking bottle E and J ever seen in my life, right? So uh, I'm like, uh, and I don't even drink, right? So he's like, man, you want some? Uh, he say, he say, he say, you want some E and J, right? I'm like, uh, some, some made me get the uh, bottle and drink the cup of, uh, drink the whole thing, man. And I don't even mind. I don't even drink, right? So I drunk the shit, right? And I ain't never seen these three motherfuckers in my life, right? But they was right there when we was boxing them, right? So I come over here, I mean, uh, I'm talking to my cousin right here, whatever, whatnot, uh, and his eyes get big, like I'm looking at y'all right now, because I'm facing where y'all face. And my motherfucker already shot me in the head right here, and went through, so he like, shocked, because I ain't fell out or nothing, right? And he like, backing away from me, whatever, and I ain't like nervous, I'm the fuck wrong with you? So I turned around, I see the motherfucker, and they get shooting, boom, 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 I'm like, what the fuck? Somebody motherfucking just shot me, punk motherfucker. So they get spooked, like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? They run where whatnot. So I'm like, damn, I gotta go in and call the ambulance motherfucker and shot me. So that's yeah, I don't know that's the part I remember right there. That's about it. So you stayed alert the whole time? Hell yeah, hell you gotta stay alert, yeah. No, so after you got shot and Oh hell yeah, I think I got shot, so I'm going to the hospital, right? So I'm in the ambulance, right? So I'm like, man, as long as I make it to the hospital, I'm cool, I'm cool. That's why I kept telling myself. And shit, yeah. So I got I don't even got an operating table. She like, you can go to sleep, I'm like, I'm cool, I'm gonna watch the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? She was like, count from sixty to one. I'm like, backwards. I'm 59, 58, I was out. Yeah, real shit. So that's the last thing you remember? Yeah, real shit. Now, I remember the coma the whole night. I remember the whole everything. Yeah. So how long was you in the coma? Uh, about a week. <coughs> and what's the first thing uh, you saw when you woke up? Oh, shit. Uh, shit, breathe. I couldn't breathe. The first thing I saw, I had to snatch the shit out of my mouth. Yeah. And what kind of injuries did you uh, But I'm going to keep in mind, uh, I didn't just wake up. A seizure woke me up. That's how I woke up. I woke up out of coma having a seizure, man. Real shit. Serious shit. That's what woke me up out of coma. Cause I hear the people saying he ain't responding, he's shocking the temple, nah, he cool. I'm like, I was, I was cool where I was at, I was cool. Real talk. And um, what were the injuries that you had to recover from? Oh, hell, I had to learn to walk, learn to breathe, the whole thing. Learn, just learn how to, but a lot of shit you don't recover from. You don't get a lot of shit back, that person is gone. Real shit, you come, you, you become the person you gotta be to, to survive. Support, this is my man. young nigga right here, my young thug right here. Oh, you know, if you want, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, real talk. Know.
and yeah. Hey, I, I need you to shut all these people up that don't understand colors is not that important whether you crip or blood wearing blue or red because the first thing people are gonna be like why is the Hoover wearing red you know and, and these are people these are out of town yeah, okay i got you these I got are all these out of town yeah, that watch they it. updated they gotta update it yeah. update them they gotta it's update it but no you know no you don't know no 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 if that's what if that's yeah. what if that's what's working for where they at man you gotta that's that program because I'd have been everywhere. I'd have been in North Carolina. I'd have been in Texas. I'd, wherever they got Hoover's at, bro, I'd have been yeah. here. And they can tell you, bro, real shit, they know me. All the way from New Jersey, all the way to North Carolina, from uh, spots that yeah. you wouldn't even know the homies at, bro. We everywhere. And they got their Texas, program, Seattle. man. Oklahoma, Tulsa. Hope, they got their program, out, man. And I don't, I don't knock it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was in one spot, and homies in neighborhoods, they was together fighting GDs and Vice Lords. Fucked me up. And I was in Tennessee, bro. I'm like, damn, buddy. And when he tell me that Vice Lords didn't like, you know, GDs and like Crips and Bloods, it made sense. I'm like, okay. You know, that's the program here. But update them for what it's like in LA right now. Oh, we on, man. We on. Yeah, we on. We on whatever, man. It's, it's whatever. like free for all. Like the Call of Duty, free for all. It's free for all, man. That's what we on right now in LA, man. I'm up top with it. With them seven spot shots. We past century, but it's still for a cop. I'm up top with it. With a low snot soft. Disrespect and get the shit knocked off. I'm up top with it. And all my niggas with the bullshit. The gun dose is your boy with the full clip. I'm top with it. I let the world meet the say low. It's Bird Gang all the way to the lay low. But watch the low nigga get off. Watch him drop. You dudes got a problem. This is South Central with the low to still mobbing. I'm not faking. The whole gang H made a deal with Satan. That's where all the low is waiting. Take lives, take turn, watch the gun burn. I wake him, shake him, I hit him with the thing, thing. I'm from Hoover Street where niggas really gang bang. Skip on gangs, let a nigga brain hang. Bird gang, it's 716. This gang tune, the locs in this bitch, past century. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.